Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my secret stash of junk. I have junk in my drawers. <laughs> so I just needed to clean today and declutter some of my drawers. That's it. I wanted to do that and then clean up. I'm going out on a date tonight with my husband. He's getting ready. So come and see me kind of cleaning through all my junk drawers. Kind of my secret when I don't want to actually clean. I am an organized person, I am a clean person, I like my house to be clean, but there are times and places when I don't actually care. <laughs> so come along and see where my secret treasures are. Actually, there, it's just junk. <laughs> so, come along. All right, we are going to start in this drawer. It's not terrible, but it's not great either. In fact, while we're at it, let's check this one out. Yeah, this is decent. This is just electronics. It did have some other stuff in it that I was gonna clear out, but I think we're good. So we're just gonna work on this one right here. I just have like random things in here that just need to like, Either get taken out, like all these box tops for the kids' school, and put them in the bags. So, all right, let's do a little before and after. Here it is before. All right, here's a little progress shot. Got the drawer cleaned out itself, but I have literal tools to put away. These go in the bathroom with this stuff. Those go in the toolbox. These go to my office. We don't need to have colored pencils in the kitchen. And then this is all garbage. I love when I can just throw all st the stuff away. So this drawer is complete. All right, one final look at the drawer. All cleaned up, straightened up. I know where all the pens are, pencils. There's some extra paint brushes in here the kids can come and find. Finally have elastics. I've been trying to like wrap up Uno cards, so now I know where to come and find it. So anyway, all of that is organized and cleaned up. All right, the second drawer, if you can call it a drawer, this would be a junk drawer if I had a drawer here in the laundry room. This is my junk bucket here in my laundry room. It's kind of where I dump everything when I don't want to either deal with it or I don't know where to put it. So we're gonna go through this. Maybe we'll just see with you guys what we've got in here. This is kind of decor from my tabletop basket that is no longer needed in the fall. This is kind of stuff that happens when I do laundry. Cords come out of sweatshirts, that's one of Kaylee's. I keep a towel here in order to wipe out my the drum of the washer, as well as wiping off the door when it's not loaded. So I just kind of keep it here and then every couple of cycles I'll stick it into the wash. But I've got these little baskets. These and actually, if you saw my gift wrapping box that I just redid. I can put those in there now. I got, I can actually just take out, oh, that sanitizer leaked. So I'm gonna have to solve that one later. But I can use these ones for gift bags later. These are all gift tags that we didn't use, so I can throw them away. This one I can still use and gift to someone. But these guys are all garbage now. That was from a church thing that never actually happened. But see, like, it's just random stuff. These I can actually just donate because they don't fit my kids and I'm sure someone else could use these masks. So I'll set those aside. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a picture of these guys too. These foosball balls that we got for the kids for Christmas last year don't fit in the foosball table. <laughs> so there's that. Then I've got coins in here. If it's more than just pennies, I'll put that in my car. Doll clothes, that goes up in the kid's bucket. Oops, don't wanna hit the cancel on there. What else have we got in here? A retainer case for a retainer that I have now lost. Ooh, Easter candy. I probably can throw that away now. And then what else do we have in here? Oh, the kids were gonna do little cookie bags for 
a cookie sale at lemonade stand and we were trying to make it sanitary I'll put that into my baking supplies in the kitchen this is actually my maybe it isn't I don't remember this might be my band that I wore at my wedding I can't remember I think so all right literally dumped the whole thing out <laughs> Oh, I want to just put it all back in because I don't know where to put this stuff and I don't want to deal with it. Like this is headphone cozies, but the headphones themselves broke. But what if I get another pair of cozies and the headband breaks? So I'm just going to keep this. These are just empty bags. I use these for traveling or the kids like put them in their school bags or outings or whatnot for, you know, private supplies. So I'm just gonna stick those there. We can probably throw away the retainer case because I'll get a new one if I get a new retainer. And I wanna use this with my wraps, but we're not going to Hawaii anytime soon. Where to put it, where to put it. All right, basket is almost empty. I've got these bags in there. This was all pennies. I got those things in there. This is a little game. Sometimes if I know I'm going somewhere where there's like little kids that I know might help to have like a little extra entertainment, I like to be like that fun aunt who pulls something fun out of their purse <laughs> and surprises kids because sometimes mom toys are getting old and so I like to have like something different. And then the last thing to get put away, I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here because I can gift that to someone. It's just a sanitizer. It's just the last one left. So then these guys go up into this little bin right here and I let's see if I can do it one handed here. I just keep some of my simple tablescape decor in here. Let's see if I can get this candle down in there. I don't actually burn with candles a lot. I mean, I did on this one because I did like the smell of this one. But most of the time, it's just for the look of it. Like this one is Christmas for the little peppermint. I don't actually light them. And then I'll just put this stuff down in here for the winter until I can pull them out for the spring. So... Okay, so that's put away. Basket is emptied out. And I have a little pile of stuff to take a photo of and try and donate. I think someone could use these foosball balls. And these will still be used now for little kids. They just are too small for my kids. So, all right. So this drawer right here is the one <laughs> secret you don't know about me. And this is the one that started the whole conversation <laughs> both with Jason and I and in my head about what video to do today. I am a neat person, I am a clean person, I am an organized person, but when I am tired at the end of my day, I just don't care. I don't care about this drawer. I don't care that there's old tissues and old prescription bottles and chapsticks that are completely gone. Is this one gone? Or maybe I don't like it. Gone. Totally gone. Throw it away. This one, gone. Throw it away. I just, I, I don't care at the end of my day <laughs> to like care about this drawer. So we're going to work through this one here, find a place for the melatonin. And yes, we buy these in bulk now. <laughs> I have had to start taking these at night on a regular basis. One little tidbit. You might think that like I've made my bed and my room is all cute because I've set my pillows cute like this next to the bed in case I accidentally film next to the bed. But in fact, I have not made my bed. <laughs> Just being transparent here, folks. All right, so here's the drawer. We'll pull out all the junk and then we'll put it all back together and organize it. Hi! Well, not quite, <laughs> but it's cleaned out. And sometimes, well, actually all the time, when you get something completely cleaned out, you only want to put away the stuff you absolutely need. So I'm going to put ibuprofen in here melatonin see if the drawer will shut with those in there yep I'm gonna keep my diazepam and my prednisone in the drawer there's like one or two prednisones from the first time I had vertigo and then there's a few of these ones left these ones actually help with the nausea so I'm gonna keep them in here just in case I get vertigo again I hope to not have to go back to the doctor for medication because I can do the exercises now but this is just to help me in the first couple hours so that I don't have to go to the doctor. And then I have a little thing of new feet. This is like a lotion cream for your feet. We actually sell this at our shoe store in case you wanna buy some in the Seattle area. Then I've got some, my lotions are gonna go in there. Click that one shut. Again, these were from when I had vertigo. You have to have 
the prednisone with something to eat. Plus sometimes late at night, you get a little snacky. I have a little pop socket. I thought my girls could maybe make a little, instead of Atrex, it's a shoe company <laughs> that we sell. Um, I don't know why I have that in there. But then I have a bunch of cough drops that I can stick. Normally I stick them right here if I have a cough or a sore throat, but I'm gonna put them on that side because I don't need them. Ball of chapstick goes there. And then again, this is like nighttime cold medicine so I don't have to get out of bed. That's kind of the thing is that if I'm sick enough or tired enough, I don't wanna have to get out of bed to get this stuff, a nickel, a reading light. I'll see if Chelsea wants that. So, and then they keep trying to scare me with spiders, but it's not gonna work. So we'll keep that guy there in case I wanna try. But I'm gonna actually take this stuff and, well, here, I'll give you an overview. Really not much going in there, except for my cord. Goes back in there. And my headphones. That's it on that chore. Just cleaned it out. Also, just to be transparent, that's all that came out of it. Literally, the garbage was empty. <laughs> this is all the garbage that was in that drawer. It's a bit ridiculous. So, that's it on this drawer, and I think I'm almost done. All right, you guys, that is it. I have been cleaning and doing all this stuff all day long. I'm gonna go head out on my date and enjoy our clean house and my clean drawers. So thank you for joining us, and hopefully you'll stick around, come back and watch more. I do normally do vlogging videos, of our family but every once in a while I need to clean or deep clean or organize like kind of need to go through all these storage tubs right here <laughs> maybe that's another video leave a comment below if you think I should do that or at least maybe show you what's in all of them kind of changed them since I've done a video on them a couple years ago but anyway thank you for joining us today and we'll see you guys next time good night